very good morning my dear students of growing soul kids gurukul my lovely students so it's time for your study now get ready with your pencil and notebook class 5 subject tbs lesson 1 our organ system hello to you all my dear fifth class students a very good morning to you so welcome to your tbs class so my dear children first of all tell me how is it going good okay that's really great and as you all know that this is iron life and i am your hmm yes ebs teacher right yes so my dear students as you already know that you have completed many topics in previous classes right yes and i know that you have understood those topics very thoroughly right great so my dear children from today onwards we will be going to start with our syllabus right so are you all excited okay so first of all take out your notebook and pencil fast great so let's begin with our first chapter right first chapter so my dear students do you know that human body is the most wonderful machine in the world right yes and as you all know my dear students that our body performs various important functions automatically without any break right yes so my dear children can you tell me the topic what is today's topic tell me yes topic is our organ system so all of you write down chapter 1 topic our organ system right students yes so my dear children as we all know that our body performs different functions right yes so let us study about these different functions in detail right students yes so the first one is digestive system so all of you write down digestive system so my dear students can you tell me about digestive system tell me yes so my dear children as we all know that our digestive system start it work from the very first bite when it enters our mouth and it works on food for next few hours right students yes and do you know that this process is known as yes digestion and it help our body in providing energy to work and grow right students yes and my dear students as we all know that when we chew food saliva begins to form in our mouth which makes the food easy to swallow and then the mushed up food is pushed by tongue to the stomach through food pipe right students yes and further the gastric juices slowly breaks down the food into liquid and then the liquid mixture passes to small intestine right students yes and the digestion of food completes in small intestine as you already know right students yes and the undigested food goes into the large intestine and passes out through anus right students yes and my dear students there are number of organs that perform the process of digestion right students yes so let's start with the mouth right yes as we all know that different types of teeth have their own function right yes and food get mixed with saliva and chewed up right students yes 
So can you tell me what are the types of teeth? Yes, there are four types of teeth. Incisors, canines, premolars and molars. So can you tell me about incisors? Hmm? Yes, they are the front four teeth at the top and bottom. Right students? Yes. And it is used for chopping and cutting food like chocolate bar, apple etc. Right students? Yes. So do you know about canines? Hmm? Yes, they are pointed teeth next to incisors. Right? Yes. And it helps to break down the food as well. Hmm. And they are four in numbers. Can you tell me? Yes. Two at the top and two at the bottom. Right students? Yes. And what about premolars? Do you know that? Yes. They are next to canines and they are eight in numbers. Can you tell me? Hmm. Four at upper jaw and four at lower jaw. Right students? Yes. And it is used for grinding food. Right? Yes. So, let us also know about molars. Right? Yes. So, these are 12 in numbers. Do you know that? Hmm. Six at the top. And six at the bottom. Right? Yes. And they grind the food to a fine paste and help the tongue to push the food down to the food pipe. Right students? Yes. So have you understood? Very good. So let us also know about tongue, salivary glands, food pipe, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. Right? Okay. So, about tongue. It helps to taste food, chew and swallow as we all know. Right students? Yes. And what about salivary glands? Hmm. Food that we put in mouth get softened due to liquid mixture called saliva. Right students? Yes. And what about food pipe? Yes, it is 10 inches long muscular tube that connects mouth to stomach. Right students? Yes. So can you tell me about stomach? Yes, it is involved in mixing, mashing all the food and the gastric juice digest the food. Right students? Yes. So can you tell me about small intestine also? Hmm? Yes. It is thin and 22 feet long. And food here broken down with the help of liver, pancreas and gallbladder. Although they are not part of digestive organ. Right students? Yes. So let us also know about large intestine also. Right? Yes. So, after spending 4 hours in small intestine, the food becomes in watery mixture. Right? And the leftover food goes to large intestine. Right students? Yes. Which is about 5 feet long. And large intestine absorb the water and waste product is pushed out through anus. Alright? Great. So my dear children, here the question is how to keep our digestive system healthy and strong? So can you tell me? Yes, we should drink plenty of water. Right? Yes, we should eat more salads, fruit and proper food including major nutrients. Right? Yes. And we should chew our food.
properly it is very important right students yes so have you all understood about digestive system great so the next is write down respiratory system respiratory system so my dear children let us study about respiratory system also right okay so our respiratory organs manage our breathing without any effort right students yes and it includes nose windpipe two bronchi and two lungs right yes so when air enters through nose then it enters lungs as we already know about it right yes and the oxygen is used up by body then oxygen burns the food to release energy and carbon dioxide right students yes and during exhalation the carbon dioxide and other waste are released right yes and my dear students it is very important that we should take care of our lungs right yes so we should take care of it by keeping our surroundings clean taking precautions against dust and pollution right yes and as we breathe through nose so we should always keep our nose clean right students yes so my dear children we should always take care of our lungs so have you understood great so let's move forward to our next part that is circulatory system right so all of you write down next part circulatory system and write down the correct spellings okay yes so my dear children can you tell me about circulatory system yes so it consists of heart blood and blood vessels present in whole body right students yes and it delivers nutrients and oxygen to all the parts of the body right yes and my dear students as we all know that the heart is a strong muscle which works like a pumping machine right yes and the right side of the heart receives blood from body and pumps it to lungs right yes and the left side of heart receives oxygen containing blood from lungs and pumps it to the body right students and blood moves through arteries and veins called blood vessels right students yes so have you understood this okay great so let's move forward to our next part that is excretory system so all of you write down next is excretory system write down system right so my dear children excretory system includes kidneys ureters bladder and urethra right students yes so let us know about their function step by step right yes so as we all know about kidneys that it is a filtering machine and it filter waste from the blood and produce urine right students yes and what about ureters yes these are thick tubes that take urine from the kidney to bladder right yes and bladder holds the urine right students yes and through urethra urine passed out from the body right students yes so my dear children our next part is nervous system so all of you write down 
nervous system right students yes so my dear children as we all know that brain is the main part of our nervous system right yes which send various messages to our body and the nerves and spinal cord work together to deliver message back and forth and brain also stores memories right students yes so my dear students can you tell me about sense organs hmm i know that you already know about sense organs so tell me about it yes as we already know that our brain is assisted by sense organs right yes which helps in seeing hearing smelling tasting and touching as well right students yes so can you tell me what are the sense organs yes eyes nose skin ears and tongue are sense organs right yes and as we all know my dear students that we hear different kinds of sounds through our ears right yes and we see everything through our eyes like can you tell me yes beautiful view different animals etc right yes and what about skin hmm yes it helps us to feel different sensations like heat cold soft rough etc right yes and our nose helps us to smell different things like tell me yes perfume aroma of food etc right yes and what about tongue yes we need our tongue to taste different types of food and it indicate us whether the food is sweet salty bitter or sour right students yes so my dear students have you understood this chapter okay so my dear students we will complete exercise part in our next video that is upcoming video right so till then i will give you questions you have to prepare the answers of that questions and in next class we will discuss all the answers right students yes so the first is list the four types of teeth in our mouth right yes and the next is write the function of excretory system right students yes so my dear students try to prepare the answers of these questions right students yes so in next class we will complete the whole exercise right so till then all of you take care and stay blessed bye bye dear students it's time for your homework you have to write answers of the given questions in your notebook okay dear students bye bye take care god bless you